Okay students, so now for some exercises to understand inventory costing, under absorption and marginal costing or variable costing or direct costing. Ready students? Come. <clears throat> now what is given here, sales is 100,000 units at the rate of 15 per unit. Production is 120,000 units. So straight away you know here that there is going to be a closing stock. Okay, 20,000 units. Sorry, opening inventories are nil. <coughs> closing inventories 20,000 given here. It need not be given. This information is redundant. You must be alert to such things, even if this is not given, you must remember, you must understand that there are closing inventories. Direct material, direct labor, variable manufacturing overheads, fixed manufacturing overhead, variable selling costs, fixed selling costs. Now the question has not been framed here, but what you are supposed to do is to find the cost of goods sold and prepare the income statement under absorption costing and under <coughs> variable cost, absorption costing and things, you have to find out this and this, under absorption costing and under variable costing. So let us do this. <coughs> this is the question, I have just moved it to one side, nothing else, the same question. So absorption costing, you are familiar, let us start, direct material, direct labor, what you get is called prime cost, 360, 240. Then you will take the manufacturing overheads, whether they are fixed or variable, 180, 240. Therefore, you get the manufacturing cost of uh, 120,000 units, that is 1,020,000. There are no opening in inventories and there is closing inventories. Now, you don't know. You know there are 20,000 units, but what is the value of this closing inventory? The cost at which you manufactured <coughs> during the current period. So what did you manufacture? It was 1020000. Yes or no? 1,020,000 is the cost for 120,000 units. Therefore, what is the cost for your closing stock of 20,000 units? Is it clear? 1,020,000 is the cost of 120,000 units. Divide, you get the cost of 1 unit into 20,000. Therefore, closing inventory's value is 170,000. Deduct and the cost of goods sold is 850,000 under absorption costing. Under absorption costing. <clears throat> Clear? Okay. Now, if you made an income statement from here. No, sorry, I'm not making income statement. I'm making, uh, first I'm making a cost of goods sold under variable costing. Uh, so that the prime cost part is the same. Direct material, direct labor. Then variable manufacturing overheads 180. So this is the if if you add 780,000 is the manufacturing cost of 120,000. What was the cost here? It was 1,020,000. This 240,000 has been omitted here, right? Opening inventory is nil. What is the value of closing inventories? 780,000 is the value of 120,000. Therefore, what is the value of 20,000? It is 130,000. So your difference lies here. The difference lies here. <clears throat> difference lies in the value. Now you might have said this is variable cost of goods sold. This is the uh, other cost of goods sold. But the, the, the fixed manufacturing overheads of 240,000, this will get covered as a period cost so that it will not make a difference in the operating income, net operating income. So don't worry about that. But look at this. This there is a there is a difference of 40,000 in the valuation of the inventories. Obviously, inventories are valued higher under absorption costing because that element of fixed overheads is there. This 240,000 spread over those 20,000 units, right? Is is there the portion of the fixed cost in the portion of the fixed cost in the closing stock of 20,000 is included here <clears throat> absorption costing you have 360 to 40 600,000 variable manufacturing overheads fixed manufacturing overheads this is the manufacturing cost of thing exactly the same thing okay 
what is the income statement now sales revenue was 100000 right <coughs> 100000 into 100000 units into 15 so 1.5 million cost of goods sold you've taken from here so gross margin 650000 yes <clears throat> then manufacturing costs less sorry non manufacturing costs or the operating costs you will do the fixed selling variable selling and you get an operating income of 300000 okay this is under absorption cost and we are doing absorption cost okay <clears throat> Under variable costing, let's see what happens. Now it's like this. This is 1.5, but you had only 650,000. So gross variable margin is 850,000. Then you reduce the variable selling cost to arrive at 700,000 is the contribution because sales less all variable costs is what gives you the contribution. <clears throat> this is gross contribution margin. Sometimes you could say this is the contribution. Then you reduce the fixed cost of 240 and 200,000 and therefore you get now 260,000. What was your profit in the previous example? It was 300,000. Yes or no? Now what is the profit here? It is 260,000. What is the difference? 40,000. What was the difference in the closing stock? Do you remember? 130, 170. Exactly. It's exactly 40,000. It's exactly 40,000. Look, what is the difference? See, I am putting the income statement under direct costing and under absorption costing. Do you see? The sales revenue is the same. But cost of goods sold, different. Great. So, 850,000 is the variable margin. This is the gross margin. Then you had fixed uh, selling cost, fixed or variable. Therefore, 300,000. Here, from the gross variable margin, you deducted the selling cost. What selling cost? The variable selling cost. Because that's the way of presentation. Sales less all variable cost. This is also variable cost of goods sold, right? So you get 700,000. Then manufacturing overhead and the fixed selling. This is all fixed cost. Fixed selling cost is here. The variable, this has already gone here. 260,000. Difference of? Difference of 40,000. Right, students? So, the value of closing inventories under absorption costing 170, under variable costing, direct costing or marginal costing 130, difference is 40,000. <clears> operating income, operating income under absorption costing 300,000, direct costing 260,000, 40,000. Yes or no? Higher closing inventories you have. So, <clears throat> That is where the difference lies. So, higher the closing inventories, higher the profits under absorption cost. Clear students? Higher closing inventories, higher profits. Exactly that is the difference. Let's do another, uh, another exercise where you have two periods. A computer monitor manufacturer has the following data. When he's manufacturing 5,000 units where he's selling 5,000 units and 10,000 units in the months of March and April, but the production was 10,000 units in March and uh, 5,000 units in April. Uh, sorry, but if you notice, students, if you take both together, if you just make a total here, then you get the sales was 15,000. Production was also 15,000. So if you take a total of two months, the sales is equal to production. But in this month, in March, sale production is more. In April, sales is more. Okay. Selling price per unit, variable production cost per unit, fixed overhead absorbed, 10 per unit and 10 per unit. This is absorbed. Fixed production overhead actually incurred 100,000 and 100,000. Fixed administrative selling and distribution overhead, 50,000, 50,000. Prepare a statement of cost and income statement under absorption and variable costing. This is absorbed, you understand? <clears throat> the 
it's a rate so whatever units you produce 10 into that but your actual overheads may be more or less the difference is ultimately reflected in the in the uh, income statement or adjusted to the cost of goods sold depending on what the management decides to do we will discuss overhead absorption under absorption over absorption in another module <coughs> So, let's start with this direct costing what is happening, variable cost I am just taking, variable cost is 10,000 units are produced into 50, 10,000 into 50, here it is 5,000 into 50, correct, opening stock is 5,000 into 50 here. Okay, this I should make a small correction here. This should be uh, 5000 into 50, right? There are two things. One is this and one is this. So, this is 250. Yeah, and this is that. Opening stock is nil here and this opening stock, I have no idea how you got this. So, let me look at the closing stock. Closing stock is 5000 into 50. Why? Because the variable cost is 50. You've got 5000 closing stock. It's valued at the same cost. 250,000. What is closing stock will be opening stock here. <coughs> Cost of goods sold 250 and 500,000. Is this clear? Please check. Any doubt here? Variable cost. If you look at the income statement, you have sales of what? 5,000 units at 100, 500,000. 10,000, 1 million here, less variable cost 2, this is comes here, 250,000 and 500, right? This is the cost of goods sold. So this is the contribution, less fixed cost, you have production cost of, actually you don't even look at this, this is only under absorption costing, this is only under absorption costing, it's 100,000, selling distribution overheads are 50,000, therefore you get an operating income of 103,000. Uh, I'm just putting a total of 450,000 here. <clears throat> Under absorption cost, look at that variable cost you have, the same thing what you had before, variable cost 1,000 and also 5,000 into 50. Okay. Fixed production cost number of units into 10, so 100,000 and 50,000. So this is the production cost. Opening inventories were nil here. Closing inventories is, if you see, what is the closing inventories? <clears throat> 600,000 by 10,000 into 5,000, 300,000. That's here. This is a mistake, right? This, this, is, this was under variable costing. Now the, the value is slightly different. Yes or no? 600 by 10. Uh, 10,000. It's not 50, but it's 60. 60 per unit. So, so 60 per unit into 5,000. 300,000. What is here is also here. <clears throat> this is the cost of goods sold before adjustment of the absorbed fixed overheads because you took fixed overheads of 100,000, which is correct here, but here it's only 50,000. 50,000 was not absorbed. We should absorb that. So that that is because you consider only fifty thousand here. This is called underabsorbed, not charged. So I just add back. This adjustment has been made. Therefore, you get three hundred thousand and six fifty thousand being the cost of goods sold after adjustment of the fixed overheads. Is it clear, students? Be sure you've understood everything. You took the selling price. You took the variable cost of production, and you took the overhead absorbed. This will give you the cost of goods sold here. Yes or no? Absorb. Because if there is a production overhead incurred is different from absorb, that difference is adjusted. <clears throat> it's been adjusted here to the cost of goods sold. And therefore, you've got a cost of goods sold of 360,000. Sales is 501 million. Cost of goods sold comes here. Right? From here, it has come here, 30650. You get a gross margin. Less what are your operating costs? You had 50 and 50,000 here, 150 and 300. Interestingly, this total is also 450,000. <coughs> Please go through, check. I hope everything is clear. Okay? 
Take your time, students. Go through it once more. No problem, but see that you are clear. Just prepare the cost statement and the income statement. Now, if you compare the two, under absorption costing, in March, the closing inventories were 300,000. Here, it was 250,000, difference of 50,000. So obviously, this is the uh, the same opening inventories, 300, 250, and 50,000. So what is the effect on profit? This un absorption costing. So if it's higher in absorption costing, I've kept it as positive. Absorption costing is higher, 50,000. Here, absorption costing loses by 50,000. What about the operating income? Operating income is 150,000 under absorption costing in March. And in March, it is 100,000 here, difference of 50. So this difference in profit is because of this difference in stock. Because the inventories were higher, as a result of that, the operating income is higher. Operating income in April, 300 here, direct costing it is more. Why? Because the opening inventories are, are higher in April. Opening inventories were more in April. Therefore, opening inventories value also is more in absorption costing. Cost is more, profit is less. So, 50,000. <clears> 50,000. <throat> This difference, the, differ the, the difference in the valuation of the opening stock has led to this difference in profits here, 50,000 loss. Over the period, totally, the effect was nil. Both, if you take a total, total operating income was 350, uh, sorry, 450, 300 and 150, 450, 100,000 and 350, 450,000 because, because the <coughs> total units produced and sold in the two months was the same 15,000 produced was also 15, sold was also 15, no change. 